Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, this is to answer a question I got this week by a couple of viewers concerning the browser, um, and especially uh, the fact that browsers actually have updates so regularly. A lot of people have been telling me, well, I don't understand why they update the browser so much, you know, and every time that I update, I'm wondering what exactly is happening. So, you know, browsers are software. They are what we use to go on the internet, but it's a piece of software that does that. Its job is to have us uh, surf the web and look at websites and, and enjoy what we uh, like to enjoy and watching YouTube videos and so on. They actually are upgraded for several reasons. One of the, probably the most important is security. Like every piece of software, when you go and, you know, check out if there's an update to your browser, one of the first things that it does is check for updates that are often linked to security. So what happens is it's going to check for an update and will apply minor updates. And a lot of you have been asking me, what are the minor updates every time I get a little update in, in Chrome? Um, in between versions, so here, for example, Chrome is 87. In between versions, most of the updates that apply in between the major version change, so we moved on for 86 to 87, all the little updates that happen in between those two versions have to do with two things in general. One is they fix security bugs, and actually there were quite a few security bugs that were uh, very important and critical to fix between the two versions. The other one is to fix um, bugs of the browser itself. People will report that maybe a page makes the browser crash or, or it doesn't properly actually uh, display a certain page or there are some functionalities that don't work like they should. So in between the big versions, usually the small updates that we get are due to bug fixes and security updates. The major change in versions, when we go from, for example, 86 to 87 in this case, had bigger features. They will add things that we didn't have before. They will add things or modify some functionalities to improve them or change them in a way that maybe could be better for the user. They will add functionalities, something that wasn't there before. An example to that is uh, Firefox that added uh, the capability and the options to um, in, in privacy and security, for example, to uh, track and, and enable HTTPS only mode in all windows. That means that now when you enable that, only secure websites really show up and unsecure websites will give you a warning before you can continue. So that is what happens in major version changes is new features. Um, Chrome, although it's not official yet for most, Chrome adds a, a, an improved PDF reader, for example. And, you know, there's all sorts of little tweaks here and there because people will complain of things and they're trying to work out those little details like improve battery life or uh, make the browser faster if possible when displaying web pages and so on. So that is the reason behind all of these updates. Adding new features and a major version change and bug fixes, security fixes for minor updates in between two major versions uh, is pretty much what happens. And it is important to keep your browser up to date because there's new technologies on the web that are used all the time. There's, of course, the security side of things that is important. This, you know, remember that your browser is your first line of defense for um, security because that's the first thing that, you know, anything, every website, anywhere you go, it's the first thing that displays and actually goes on the internet to display stuff and show you what's the web. So if there's some security hazard out there, it's your first line of defense. By keeping it up to date, you also are keeping yourself safer. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.